we must stand up for one another, our community, and demand that local and state politicians do their jobs by funding ours. Thank you for listening, sisters and brothers. I would now like to introduce my fellow colleague and negotiator, Dr. Baez, from our supervisor. My name is Victor Baez, and I work as an urban forestry crew supervisor and a member of the SEIU 521 Salinas contract bargaining team. Before COVID-19, our economy experienced an unprecedented record-setting economic boom. Shareholders profited and our local government gave, million, gave away millions to corporate incentives and subsidies. The city could chose to give away millions instead of bargaining, bringing in additional Stop contracting out permanent jobs and provide essential services to our community with full-time dedicated members willing to build up our town and make make a future for some beautiful Salinas. Let me say that again. Our economy experienced the highest tax base in history of Salinas, yet the city chose freely giving money away to corporations. Now the city is coming to our department and our communities who are being hit the hardest by the recession and asking for what is left on the kitchen table. The city must increase corporate taxes and capital gain taxes at the same time, at the same rate as workers' income. The city must pass our Schools and Community First Initiative to restore 12 billion by closing commercial property tax loopholes. It's time for our corporate neighbors to pay for education, housing, health care, and their workers and the workforce. They must now pitch in and pay to build the road and highways that they use and safety they experience of for their property and the status of our community. The city is choosing to you to use oppressive and tyrannous tactics to impose pre-negotiated takeaways from our our workers' benefits and put our SEIU essential workers in a stressful financial situation. The city now proposing to cut to our members whom they have been stated in the press conference in weeks past as essentials, yet they show no sign of treating us as essential workers. The city is pushing towards furloughs and deep cuts, while the city executives have gained perks, safeguards, and the rest of the pot used for their salaries and benefits. The top city executives are paid nearly $1 million in salaries and perks. Where are the cuts to the executive pay? Where is the investment to our workforce to give their give their heart and soul, sweat, blood to our city and provide essential services? It's time we look at all options before we cut. Thank you for listening, brothers and sisters. Now I end this. I send my co-worker and colleagues. My name is Raymond de Mayor. I've worked in public works for the city of Salinas for 23 years. I am also proud a member of the bargaining team and member of our union. No matter what place in the community our race or our background is, we are all part of this crisis together as a nation, as a union. We are all impacted and we must ensure equity from the federal and state level to ensure recovery for everyone, recovery for all. We can push forward to the, great, the greatest possible federal relief the state government uh, and local governments. We, we will, as the economic aid and the frontline workers and unemployed communities of color and small business can do. Policies through the Great Depression and World War II created jobs, home and prosperity that no one thought was possible. If we can go from the soup lines to home ownership, Let's take California, si se puede, attitude and history and apply it to it. We stand in solidarity with our sisters and brothers of color who seek justice all over the country to fully fund vital public services and enrich our day-to-day -day lives, meaning we can dismantle structural racism Keep our 
Park and Tom Joy, our public officials must make the maximum effort to obtain loan programs available from the Federal Reserve Bank and the federal government to continue to enhance unemployment benefits. Public officials must enable the utilization of rainy day funds and other reserves over the next three years preceding revenue shortfalls. This may require moving restrictions putting in place when a crisis of this magnitude would have not been envisioned. We must together, we must work together to join policies of the future so we can have a stronger economy, contributions from corporations and shareholders of the community benefiting everybody. The city is now, now here in near bargaining in good faith. As a union, we have filed an unfair labor practice today. Woo! Yeah. 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 We intend to impose concessions if we do not reach in a bargaining agreement by the end of June. Our members are prepared to take actions necessary to fight against adverse directives causing because we are stronger and united more than ever. We will strike if necessary for our community, for our home, for public services we provide. Thank you for listening, brothers and sisters. And now let me introduce uh, Cesar Lada, Executive Director of the Monterey Labor Council. Hey, brothers, how's it going? What are we out here for? What are we out here for? There we go. Uh, I'm Cesar Lada, I'm the Executive Director of the Monterey Bay Central Labor Council. And uh, I'm here in solidarity with you all at 521. Brothers and sisters, I'm here with you. As we, we need to take advantage, we, we are advocating for a recovery for all. We must take advantage of this historical low rates and borrow the necessary funds to invest in California's infrastructure. Use the California's two banks that, that, that can create lending facilities for counties and cities to borrow for all capital improvements like buildings or new equipment, etc., to maintain vital services, augment with, with any necessary uh, corporate bank, bank lending, and invest in public health infrastructure, high quality nursing homes, um, uh, ICU beds in existing hospitals, and new, new hospitals in underserved rural communities. Safe, affordable housing for for all California working families, renewable energy, a safe power grid, high speed internet access for Californians, building and refurbishing public schools and colleges, public capital investments for vital public services and generate revenues for our cities. California, counties and cities all, all over our land which really property. Let's use that public land for public good by building housing, renewable energy, uh, farms, and, and other good projects. Let's utilize some of our public land to create jobs, meet, meet public needs, and generate the revenue needed to pay for vital services. This may require that we do rezoning of parcels where appropriate. Lending or selling these parcels can generate needed funds because we need those funds today. The city cannot, the city cannot promise, cannot praise and thank our essential workers and in the next breath, cut our wages, cut our benefits. We must push for investments, borrowing and use of revenues that, that went for, for us. On behalf of the Labor Council, our members, we call on the city to bargain in good faith and stop these lies and be transparent, our community and our union brothers and sisters. We need a recovery for all, brothers and sisters. Yeah. 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 All right, let's do it. All right, we want to thank everyone who is here today because this is a fight for our contract for our community. Is that right? Yes. All right, we have joining us here today. Um, Oh, thank you. I don't know where this came from. <laughs> okay. We have with us here today, I want to thank some uh, folks, important folks that in the labor movement joining us here today. Yeah, it's not working. Okay. Joining us here today, uh, Pete Maturino from UFCW. Yeah. Thank you so much, yeah. for joining us. Obviously, Cesar Lara from the Labor Council. We also have an elected official city council member, Steve Woo. McShane. Yeah. One of our leader 
Fisher is one of our strong leaders out of Santa Clara County Ooh. that just went through a strike with thousands of Santa Clara County workers and came here today to join us. Ren Bradley, Ooh. thank you for coming. <laughs> We're going back to the table this, this week after we get go, hear from City Council, but we have to be ready because there's lots of cuts to be made, but not from our pockets, not from pockets of working people. Is that right? Yeah. So what do you want? Contract. And when do you want it? Now. What do you want? Contract. And when do you want it? Now. Now I'm gonna say, if we don't get it, you say shut, shut it, it down. down. If we don't get it, shut it down. If we don't get it, shut it down. Because we're not getting...